Hey everybody, it's Jeff here from the RevitKid.com. As some of you may know, BIM After Dark Volume 1 is open for enrollment next week. It's actually from today. I think it'll be Monday, September 17th. Today I believe is Tuesday that I'm recording this. And uh, what I wanted to do is sort of take you on a behind the scenes look at what's inside the course. I think it's pretty valuable for people to see what's what's inside uh, beforehand. So giving it to YouTube first and you guys get to see it. BIM After Dark Volume 1 is actually focused on presentation techniques. So everything from floor plans to renderings to sections, elevations, and even throwing in a little Lumion and Enscape and some really cool stuff. Um, but basically taking Revit to the next level when it comes to presentation. So if you're interested, definitely check out the link below or head over to BIMAfterDark.com. And also if you like these videos, I'm trying to post more on YouTube. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's dive inside. So similar to other versions of BIM After Dark, Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4, and even DIY Dynamo, uh, there are going to be multiple packages of BIM After Dark for anyone's budget or what your needs are going to be. I'm going to be showing you what is part of the complete package, which is going to include all the sample files and some great bonus material. So what you'll get is actually a zip, fo a zip file uh, full of videos and bonus content. Um, what you'll notice in the first, uh, once you unzip the file, is you've got a couple PDFs. And so these are these are actually readmes. So they're going to give you a little bit of uh, information on what's what's in the the current chapter that you'll be watching. Um, a little context from me, and then a couple exercises. And so this is important to me to add exercises because I really want you to understand and comprehend the content. And by watching the videos, and then following along with the videos, and then applying that content to an exercise, I think it's the best way to really comprehend it. So there's a couple readmes with some exercises. Um, there is a overall content. So this is actually the entire uh, video um, table of contents, essentially. And so you can see here's, here's the table of contents. And then what you have is your videos, your sample files, and your bonus videos. So if I hit click into the videos, you'll notice I have them broken down into parts. And so part one is views, so if I jump into that, you'll see you have individual MP4s of each chapter, as well as the README, I threw it in there too, just in case. And uh, you'll see we have all the videos as individual MP4s, so you can take them, you can put them on your iPad, iPhone, whatever you have, tablets on and so forth. You can take pieces that you want to use for later for reference and so on and so forth. So that's part one. If I jump into part two, this is renderings. You can see there's a bunch of videos here. Um, just to let you know, with the complete package, there's almost eight hours of content so a lot of videos in here a lot of information which is awesome and then we jump into photoshop you can see there's a whole series of information in photoshop so these are your videos here and then the bonus videos if you decide to get the complete package you'll get some awesome uh, lumion videos so if i jump into here you can see there's about seven pa seven videos on lumion from importing revit stuff exporting from revit importing lumion applying materials some of my effects that I use, uh, some of the little tips and tricks that I've learned over time, as well as making some animations, which I think is pretty cool. Um, part five uh, is actually Enscape and VR. So in here we've got, uh, we're talking a little bit about Enscape, not only making renderings and animations, but also just discussing um, some VR setup information. Speaking of VR setup information, for the complete package users, uh, in the sample files folder, you'll actually have a bunch of sample files that relate to each chapter. In the Enscape 3D one, there is a portable VR setup PDF, which is actually all the hardware and software that I use for a portable VR virtual reality setup. And so um, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got links to product information. So for those of you who have been wondering what hardware you need, what software you need, um, that's all here, as well as some of my favorite settings for Enscape and then some live test rendering. So that's for Enscape, which is awesome. Uh, the other thing you'll have in here is for each when you do the complete package for each part, there's sample files. So if I go into views, there's different sample files that relate to the exercises and the videos. Um, under rendering, same thing. Under Photoshop, same thing. You can see there's all these different sample files as well as live working files and so on and so forth. So a whole bunch of content here. Um, we also have under Lumion, um, the Lumion scene and the Lumion effects that I've used as well as material sets. So you can follow along, but you can also load in some of those if you want to jump right into it. Um, you'll notice there's some Revit files in the root of the sample file drive. These are actually the live working Revit files from the videos. So you get different projects. There's a tower, so it's a 22-story tower. 
there's a house, which I use in a couple examples. There's a law office, and then there's a law office with some design options, which I use for a couple examples. So you get all those files uh, ready to roll, and so you can follow right along with it, as well as dig into some of the some of the settings and some of the things that I have going on. Um, under bonus resources, there's a materials library, which I think is pretty cool. And so this is actually a library of all of the custom custom texture materials that I have. And so this is actually pretty awesome. This is this is like many, many years of, of custom materials put together. Um, not only is it just the materials, but there's also a lot of bump maps with these materials that I've already created and some some really, really good stuff. So there's there's I think almost six six or seven hundred megabytes of, of custom materials in there that you can use. And by materials I mean textures for renderings. So definitely awesome there. I actually just opened the folder just so you can see some thumbnails of what's in there. You can see there's some stone materials, some concrete materials, some metal, some grass, um, you name it. These are all custom materials that I've collected over the years. I've made some bump maps for them. There's some folders and so on and so forth. So I've given that to you guys completely free as part of, uh, as part of the complete package. And I believe the videos plus will have it too. And the last but not least, uh, in all the video series, there'll be a works folder. And what this is, is I just decided to throw in a, a few different submissions and, and designs, uh, I guess design presentations from, from specific projects. And so, for example, uh, this, this cottage here is a cottage that I designed and created and all these images are, are created using all of the actual uh, techniques that we demonstrate in this. So this is Lumion with some photo sketcher, completely modeled in Revit. Um, this is a house that, that we can use for that. Um, the Rocky Mountain Modern is actually, this is a house that we're using for the sample file and these are completely, these are actually rendered completely in Revit um, with some photoshopping and so on and so forth. All the plans, all the sections, all the elevations, everything. So these are examples and, and you're gonna learn how to do all of these within the video series. So I wanted to make sure you had some complete um, projects that you can dig through and look at uh, and of course you do have some of the sample files here for these exact projects so uh, with that being said if I back out one more um, we've got the videos we've got the bonus videos we've got sample files full of Revit, full, Revit files materials you name it some readme's some PDFs and a whole bunch of content not to mention there may be some opportunities for some live uh, sessions with me to talk about the content so that's BIM After Dark Volume 1 uh, I hope you're interested in it. I hope it, it uh, touches a nerve with you. If it does, feel free to head on over to BIMAfterDark.com or click the link below to find out more. Again, uh, the first enrollment period is going to start on Monday, September 17th. So take a look out for that, and, uh, and I hope I can see you on the other side.